Hello. 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 So I'm here with uh, Christopher Cavalier. I'm Thomas George. Yeah, we're in uh, Leeds. First we're time Leeds. Uh, Chris has been up north. This far up north. Yeah. yeah. How was it? It's all right. Nice day for it. Um, it's everything I expected it to be in True. in a good way. Yeah, Chris yeah. said he saw someone with a, a Liam Gallagher haircut. We all have these in the north. Quite a few, actually. Yeah. Yeah. A bit different. Yeah, it was like. In that moment, I, was, I knew I was up north. Up north. A Liam Gallagher haircut. Never had one personally. No. Not with the fringe and the, the fringe and the sideies. Yeah. Maybe I should. It was great. Yeah, so uh, welcome. We're just talking about this mastering course we're putting together. Chris loves the emoji cushions. Yes, yeah. I love the emoji cushions featured here at this office. Yeah, all about the emojis. So yeah, we're putting together this mastering course, which, uh, believe it or not, is about... Mastering. Mastering. Mastering music. Music mastering. Yeah. It's for if you... You know that you need mastering, but you don't know how to do it and you don't know what it is, which are often the same thing. Indeed. It's often, it's often the same thing when I'm talking to people about mastering is that they think they don't know how to do it, but they actually don't know what the goal is. Yeah. Because you, you can't know what you need to do unless you know what you, want in, what you need to achieve, right? Yeah. yeah. I see it as you've made a cake, and we'll put some icing on it. Mastering is the icing. I try and avoid food analogies. However. However, Thomas is quite apt, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you I, had a re I heard a really good food analogy recently, right? I was talking to um, a friend of mine, and we were talking about mixing vocals to an instrumental, right? Which is a massive reality, yeah. right? But we know that it's not as ideal as mixing... Like, mixing vocals to a mixed instrumental is not as ideal as mixing vocals against the actual tracks. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? And he said, it's like baking a... It's like making a muffin and then prodding the blueberries in afterwards. After you've... Yeah, you want to bake it all at the same it. time. Yeah, right. So you want to bake the, mu yeah, the blueberries at the same time as the cake. Then the blueberries be nice and juice and moist. You don't want to shove the blueberries in after or it might just... So we'll sit right. So what's mastering? Is 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 mastering the baking? I see it as the icing. Maybe it is the baking. Hmm. Mm. For me, icing is too like on top of. Maybe the songwriting's gathering the ingredients, the mixing's the baking, and the mastering's the finishing touches. Because for Preparing me, preparing it, cutting the. Cutting the edges off the rim. For me, the mixing is the balancing of ingredients. Okay, so you want the right amount. Because if of you flour. have too, yeah, if you have too much of one ingredient, it it's not going to be a nice dish. cake. That's mixing. Yeah. Mixing is balancing. But maybe I think mastering might be the baking. But okay. it's not. I mean, for me, because mastering is like it depends what you're mastering. In. So if you have the oven too hot and you burn the cake. That's when someone's limited the track far too much. Yeah, but that can happen in mixing or mastering. Yeah. Because it depends. If you're mastering your own stuff, then it could be the baking. A lot of baking analogy. I feel like I want to get some See, cake See, this is now. why I avoid a food, I feel food like analogies. I need to get some cake. This is why I avoid food analogies. Yeah. Because you start trying to justify them, you know? So the actual uh, mastering course will be... Uh, Actually, about music, not about cakes. Yeah, it won't be. It, it's this isn't like Master Chef on YouTube. Mastering or... Chef. But actually, no, that... no. I tell you what. I tell you what. Everything we've talked about so far is mixing. Okay. But someone tasting it and saying this needs to happen. That's the master. That's mastering. So someone tastes it gets a bit too sweet and saying that means you need to okay, we need down. to. Yeah, I need to uh, need to make it a bit more dense, add a bit more compression. Yeah, because mastering. I was reading Bob Cat's book recently. He's not a chef, by the way. He's not a chef. He's a mastering yeah. engineer. Yeah. He literally wrote the book, and um, and do you know what he said in the book? He said, "Mastering is the art of compromise." Okay. Because when you're mastering, you okay. So let's say I master your song. Yeah. You give me a twenty-four bit mix, right? But I can only work with that. Does that make sense? 
Yeah. I can only, anything that I do in mastering, I can only do to that. You know, I can only bend it and mould it and shape it. So it's the art of compromise. So if, if it was a cake, I, you know, you've baked the cake <laughs> and you've given me the cake and I'm like, and, and, ah, oh, this is it. No, this is it. Okay. This is it. So you've given me the cake. It's baked. It's got icing. It's got everything, right? And, and what I do is I'm like, oh, that's a bit too much icing and I scrape some off. That's mastering. Oh, so you carve in the cake. It's like, because the it's done. Yeah. When it's you master something, done. it's There's already done. You can do. That's yeah. mastery. That's me going, oh, oh no, yeah. yeah, okay, cool. So you push it. It's, it's compromise. It's compromise. You can't re... Otherwise, you're mixing again, right? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, and then like, and there was a bit too much icing that went onto the plate. And I'm like, brushing it off. Yeah. You know? And maybe I'll like you know, drizzle some honey on it. Maybe. 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 But that, that is only, that's only not if the, Only if the that's cake's not, not sweet enough. That's, if the yeah. cake's sweet enough, don't put any honey on. But ideally, ideally, I would have put more sugar in it when I mixed it. True. Right? Mastering is the art of compromise. I do believe a lot of people don't actually know what mastering is. Yeah, so that's yeah. hopefully So this helped. food analogy hopefully helped. Yeah, so mastering, I'll tell you what, how I define mastering. Quality control. Yeah. That's what it is. For me, that is the best version of what mastering is that I've ever heard or and or come up with or refashioned. It's like, you know, even if you're mixing, let's say you're mixing and you whack a limiter on the master bus. Yeah. That's mixing. Okay. If you print it and then upload it to Spotify because you're happy with it, you've mastered it. Okay. Even though you didn't do any extra thing, the decision that you made that it was mastered is mastering. Yeah. If you send me a mix, right, and I'm and you've and you've got there with it, right, and you sent it to me for mastering, and I do nothing, I mastered it. You mastered it. I mastered it. It's a decision. Yeah. Process. Decision making process. So, like I said, if if Tom sends me a mix, right, because sometimes the mix is like they don't need anything. But that's mastering. Yeah. That decision, like, I'm not going to touch it. It's it's fine. Maybe, like, lift the gain up one or two and then go, oh, yeah, it needs it needs to be limited at minus one or whatever. And then print it to the final WAV thing with the data inserted into it. I've mastered it. I've authored it. But that's mastering, you know? And, and the the... You know, what's cool about that is, is that you now that you you know that you should do everything that you can in mixing. The mix should be the, as close to the thing as possible, you know? Yeah, I think a lot of people make the mistake where they do an average mix and they think it can get fixed and mastering. Because that's the thing. Once you've printed that file, yeah. that's it. You know, you can only There's compromise only so much that. You can do. Yeah, you can only, the output is relative to the input, right? It's... Uh, I can't think of any other way to say that. Thanks. I think you guys got <laughs> no more freedom analysis, man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, mastering is important. It's something that people need or should know. But of course, it's not the it's not the complete answer. I'll tell you why people should learn mastering. Because it will make them better producers. It will make them better mixers. And they, you know, you should learn mastering even if you have no intent on mastering. It will make you a better producer and mixer. Because with more clarity about what the, the process after you looks like, the better you can prepare for it. Yeah. Yeah? Got it. So, yeah, we're just up in Leeds. Up in Leeds? Up in Leeds. Up, up. up north. Oh, okay, you're doing... Up in Leeds. Up or, in Leeds. Because you missed the... That's what they do up north. Yeah, that's what they do up north. Out. I That's think fine. I think the English people in this audience will understand this. Yeah, anyone not English might understand. So basically, where I live is the north of the UK, where Chris lives the south of the UK. Or south of England. I don't even live in the south. I live in London. London, London's That's different. It's different to the rest of England. It's different, yeah. It's like... I don't have a food analogy for yeah, this. Got a lot of Greg's here. 
A lot of Gregs. We, we've got Gregs. Yeah. It's almost the same, isn't it? Almost the same. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice up here. Yeah, so we're just... So we're making a mastering course? We are. <laughs> got my man, Paul Bailey. He's uh, we're filming tomorrow. We're doing some yeah. interviews, talking with him. Looking forward to meeting yeah. him, actually. He's one of the guys who uh, pioneered remastering Abbey Road Studios. So we're featuring him on the course. Big dog. He's very, very knowledgeable at mastering. So this can be a good guy to talk with. I mean, Chris, you're going to you're gonna get, get on like a house on fire. We're going to get on like a... You're going to love the mastering like talk. A, um, like a, a food analogy that escapes me right now. Like a banana split. Like a... Okay, what's banana split? How can we incorporate banana split into some so, yeah. analogous... We're going up. Oh? Oh, there we go. Where are we, Thomas? We are in uh, the middle of Leeds, central Leeds, uh, right by the town hall. So if anyone's interested, a little tour. So this building here is the town hall, behind the trees, so right in the middle of the centre. I thought I'd show you? Chris the sights, show him what's going on. Is this a beanbag? That is a beanbag, yeah. we have got beanbags and everything. Beanbags and everything, yeah. So we're doing some filming today, uh, Chris is actually going to do some Mario Kart with me later. Important, important business. We're gonna, important we're business. Gonna, yeah, so the reason I'm actually here is to, is to decide who is better at Mario Kart. Thomas George or Chris Cavallio? Mario off. Mario off. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, look out for the Mastering course, which should be available soon. But featuring Chris, Mr. Vigvalli. Hello. And Paul Bailey as well. So I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you like these kind of uh, behind the scenes vlog videos, give it a thumbs up. If you think, shut up, just show me the tutorials, give me a thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, yeah. If you don't like, if you don't like it, just thumbs down. Thumbs down, that's, that's what it's about. If you, but if you do like it, you can thumbs We've got some serious Mario Kart to discuss. Yeah. And we need to plan out the mastering course. We do. We do. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.